I was impressed with that move you pulled. Bang. Ladies, gentlemen, boys, and girls, children of all ages, it's me, it's G, it's the Double MD, the undefeated, undisputed YouTube champion. That's right, it's the Maverick, Mark Daniels, here with episode 215 of our Pokemon Mr. Dungeon DX Let's Play. And guys, if you missed last episode, we went to the Fantasy Straight, chasing after that shiny Altaria. Unfortunately, we had no luck with that, so the shiny hunt continues today. We're going to bring those old dungeons back in a rotation now that we've done a couple rotations of the new ones uh, that we just recently unlocked. So we're going to be going to Mount Steel today, chasing after Shiny Rapidash. Uh, since it's a 9 floor dungeon, we could probably get like 3 runs in. We'll see how things go. So let's jump right into it. As I mentioned uh, the last few episodes, the next benchmark is when we get another Shiny Pokemon, we are going to be going to try to get Kecleon next and I've, I've, I've explained it a few times how to get Keklin but basically what you have to do is you have to steal an item from a shop and you have to fight a horde of Kecleons so the plan is to steal something battle a bunch of Kecleons and then <laughs> we'll recruit one and escape or about that's the plan and what we're gonna do is basically once we unlock that um, we're just gonna keep shiny hunting and then when we see uh, the Kecleon shop like right now if we would have got a shiny uh, Pokemon last episode we would have done the Kecleon encounter right now um, but we're gonna check out the Kecleon shop maybe there's some good stuff and then we're looking for some evolution crystals inviting orbs maybe uh, some monster orbs maybe some one room orbs pretty much just one orbs eh, it's nothing I want okay so we're good so basically what you do is you go to buy something so you just pick it up and then he'll say Oh, this it's three hundred, you know, six hundred and ninety dollars, you know, or sixty nine dollars. Is, is that okay? Do you want to pay for that? And you're just like, nah, I'm good. And then uh, a bunch of Kecleons chase you down. But if you look at the top left of your screen, guys, no matter what device you're using, using your mobile device, maybe using your PC, your personal computer, maybe using an Etch a Sketch, maybe you're watching me on a. Uh, on an Apple Watch. Maybe you're watching me in the uh, in the refrigerator. Maybe you got a fancy fridge with a screen on it. Wherever you're watching me, top left of your screen, you'll see that we're currently at 300, 300, 434 out of 472 in our living Pokedex. And of course, that 472 number includes every single individual Pokemon in the Pokedex, including all 27 Shinies, which we have 20 of, and all 28, yes, all 28. I'm this, dead serious. We're, I know this is going to be in a very impressive feat for anybody to do this. But all 28 unknowns, and I'm talking every single letter. I'm talking both symbols. We're talking explanation mark, question mark, A through Z. And, and I know that seems impossible, you know. It seems like no one in their right mind would do such a thing. First off... Rapidash encounter not shiny secondly. I'm not in my right mind because we got all 28 unknowns, baby That's right. I know <laughs> listen Listen, I know it's insane But uh, we did the job. All right, so uh, we don't need this Rapidash, but we will knock it out By the way, we don't need the trap inch that was uh, fainted over there Totally no sold that all right, so we're gonna go to the eighth floor another Kecleon shop Hey, but you know, we got a rapid ash encounter. If we can get, on average, one rapid ash encounter per run, you know that makes me satisfied. Shiny or not, just give me a chance. I'm not asking for shinies every run. That would be amazing, but come on. I'm realistic. Ugh, wiggly tough forms. I wish once you uh, unlocked every friend area, they just take that out of the game. Any uh, anyways, it doesn't really matter. Um, but... I'm realistic here, you know, just just give me a chance. One Rapidash per run in a nine floor dungeon? Uh, that's pretty fair to me, I would say. You know, we still have to fight the odds of that Rapidash being a shiny. And again, I don't have any concrete numbers of what that number is. However, the only number I've seen was one out of six, which was on a random Reddit post, so you know it's gotta be true. You know, those guys are all scientists over there. Myself included, I'm on the Reddits. I don't really make any Reddit posts, but I'm there. I'm working in the shadows. 
judging people because I have a doctorate. So I'm like, you know, I'm like looking and seeing, you know, are these guys correct? Are they factual? Of course they are. They're scientists like me. So we're all good, man. Escape orb. I'm just clicking buns at this point. There's some interesting items there. Life seed, really? Did I go to sell items or buy? I don't think I've ever seen. Have they sell protein, iron, and life seeds before? That seems like pretty good. I've never seen them do that. We're gonna buy them all. Might as well buy some of these too. Eh, screw it. We'll just give me one of everything. <laughs> I'll buy the lot, buddy. He says I got this for sale. I said yeah. I'll take it all. He says, what do you want to buy? I say, yes. Put it all in the bag. Put it on my MasterCard. I'm a freaking millionaire in this game. Just, just give me everything you got, bud. I don't care what. It's going to be a half-eaten apple. Just put it in the bag. That's the kind of money we got. Speaking of which, we can go deposit some of our money here. Look at that. 1.2 million, baby. I'm just waiting. Listen, Dogecoin, Dogecoin gets to a thousand dollars. This is what my IRL bank <laughs> bank account's gonna look like, baby. And then I'm gonna retire. All right, so here we go. We're going back into Mount Steel, run number two. We're only at six minutes, so we could probably do like four runs uh, total, depending on how fast we get through these. All right, gotta belt them over there. Alright, second floor. A shroomish. We don't need shroomish. We don't need balloon. We're just gonna leave it be. Another beldum. I would love to get a shiny Pokemon in this batch of recordings. In this episode, it would be pretty sweet, obviously, because then I would be able to do the Cacleon run tonight. Maybe even get another shiny tonight. My plan is to record at minimum four videos. <sighs> getting tight on time here tonight, so I might only do four. I, I wanted to do about six uh, Mr. Dungeon videos uh, this week. So if I do four today, I can do two tomorrow. I got a little bit of an open day tomorrow. It's been a very, very busy and stressful week. I'm not going to go through it. Uh, I'll probably go into more detail on it in the uh, Back on Track series. Would you see it this week, or would it be next week's? I don't know which one it is. Week 7, Back on Track. <laughs> so whether it's this week or next week for this episode, I have no idea. It's been a very very long stressful week but hey you know what I'm gonna sit down and relax for a little bit before I go to bed play some mystery dungeon do we have scissor I think we do I'm positive we do but I'm gonna double check we do we do yeah playing a little mystery dungeon tonight Probably play a little bit more tomorrow if we don't get all six episodes done. I have a little checklist here of what I need to get done. Uh, before my grandfather shows up, he'll be here for uh, about five days to a week. So I want to make sure I got a good batch of videos done this week. Because I don't really want to record while he's here, you know. Going to visit him, uh, hang out with him. and then. But also, he's going to be sleeping in the room right next to mine. So, you know, if he's going to be dead asleep, you know, midnight, one in the morning, two in the morning... He's going to wake up to the luscious sounds of me saying, Oh, ladies and gentlemen, just loud as hell. Just the loudest man on earth. And then, all of a sudden, I'm the rudest, you know, uh, I'm going to call myself a roommate. <laughs> neighbor, I guess, technically, kind of. Uh, the rudest neighbor you could ever have. And, uh, you know, make him feel uncomfortable. Wake him up. How rude would I be, extremely, is the answer. So I definitely want to do that. But, uh... Yeah, just want to do like six episodes of Mystery Dungeon because that's that's the series I have the least amount pre-recorded at the moment. And then tomorrow, I'll probably wrap up whatever amount of Mystery Dungeon videos I need to wrap up to make my quota. And then I'm gonna be doing Fire Emblem because that's next in line. I'm only gonna, I only have to do like four episodes, but 
depending on where we're at, I might do several, you know, uh, that happens sometimes when I play like Fire Emblem, you know, we're like in the middle of a fight, uh, and we take, you know, a few episodes to get through that fight, maybe I'll do a couple extra episodes, we'll see, we're going through the DLC on that right now, and then Spyro 3, I gotta do at least four episodes, but again, maybe I'm feeling it, maybe I do like ten episodes, you know, Spyro 3 is a lot of fun, and, uh, my first time playing through Spyro 3, I never played through Spyro 2 either until the last, well, until we just went through it, um, about a month ago. So, so and Spyro 3 is real easy recording too, because it's like, it's a very relaxed game. It is a platform, which can be stressful at times, but Spyro is a very, uh, <laughs> it's a more laid back, I guess, uh, platforming experience. Um... So really, it's really easy recording. So I so I can sit there and record for a few hours, stress free. Same with Mr. Dungeon. Mr. Dungeon is a very easy series to record for as well. Uh, Fire Emblem is a little bit more stressful because it requires a lot more tactical thinking. Still fun to record. Obviously, I love playing. Uh, I mean, I'm enjoying Three Houses right now, but it is a little bit more tactical. I have to do a little bit more thinking, uh, and that could wear you out after a while. So you know. And then Digimon's kind of the same deal. I mean, we got a st we're playing through a story right now. We're playing through the DLC in uh, Digimon. Uh, Whooper, we don't need it. And uh, it's not very stressful. It's a turn-based game, you know. Uh, it's pretty standard. So that's another easy recording. Like, I could play Digimon for several hours um, if I have the free time to do it. And if I have the energy to do it. Obviously, it, it really depends on the time of day, and it depends on how much sleep I had. It depends on a multitude of things, but, but anyways, tomorrow my plan is uh, finish up Mr. Dungeon, then do like four episodes of Fire Emblem, um, and when I say finish up Mr. I don't mean complete it, I mean just <laughs> finish the last few episodes I wanted to record for the week, and then uh, Spiral 3, and Spiral 3 probably on, tomorrow is Wednesday, my god, my whole week's been scrambled. Oh my god, tomorrow's Wednesday. <laughs> I almost didn't record tonight, because it's been a long day for me. Ooh, hello. Hold on one second, let's take a look at this rapid ash. But no, yeah, today's been very long for me, so... It's actually pretty late. Later than I wanted it to be when I started recording? Okay, that's fine. So, uh... I almost didn't record, I was like debating about it. I was like, man, you know, I'm really tired. If I record tonight, I can record X amount of videos and I have to go straight to bed. But I really want to record some videos because I haven't got to record all day. Uh, so I was really debating about it. I said, screw it. I, I just want to record videos today. Not even just because I have to. I just want to. So I said, screw it. That's what I'm going to do. Instead of using any type of free time to actually do some free time stuff. Um, I said, F it. Let's play some Mystery Dungeon. And I didn't even think about the fact, because I have, like, he's coming Thursday, so I have two days after today. Um, technically just one full day, um, but he won't be here till like, Thursday night, so I have Thursday during the day uh, to record some videos. Now, I will say, I don't have, like, Mystery Dungeon was the only series I really had to record a couple videos for. I'm good on everything else in terms of uh, being ahead. Not only do I have them recorded, they're already edited, they're uploaded, they're scheduled out, everything's good to go. Thumbnails are done. Everything's done, right? We're good to go on those. And even if he stayed for a full week, I'm good. But, I did, you know, by the time he would leave, though, I would then be, like, in a position where I have to record the next day. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, to get uh, back to being ahead. So I just want to keep ahead. That's the uh, That's the key here, you know? So, uh, anyways, hmm, so that means tomorrow I'll do Mystery Dungeon, the rest of the Mystery Dungeons I want to record, Fire Emblem, might do extra Fire Emblem, we'll see, and then I guess Thursday during the day, oof, okay, you know what, I might have a long day tomorrow, boys. <laughs> If I have the energy, I don't know if I'm going to have the energy. Well, it all just depends. We'll see. If I have the energy tomorrow, we're doing the rest of the Mystery Digital I wanted to do. We'll do the Fire Emblem I needed to do, and then we'll also play, like, Spiral 3. Then Thursday, 
I only have to wait. Uh, I'll have to make sure we get the Digimon done. And I just wanted to do four episodes. So if I just do the four episodes during the day, maybe more if I'm feeling lucky, if I'm feeling energetic, um, and if I have the time, we'll do it. And then we're good to go. Then we're fine. But I also have a lot of other stuff I have to do um, as well. Like I said, I have a pretty free day tomorrow, but I still have some other stuff I have to do as well. You know, real life does get in the way at times. And Vyanorb, let's go. Protein and... Dude, I'm telling you that they did not always sell protein and PP ups. And stuff like and proteins is like, am I going crazy? Am I wrong in thinking they didn't sell those? Was there like an update? <laughs> or did we start unlocking this stuff because we finished the story with uh, Gardevoir and uh, Gengar? I don't know. Let's go and deposit all this stuff. Alright. Alright, we're at 16 minutes. We could probably do like two more runs. We'll see. You know, I could see what I could also do is I could like cut these down to 20 minutes apiece and fit all six episodes tonight. But I don't want to necessarily do that. I mean, I, if if depending on like what dungeons we run, I could just go like 20 like depending on the dungeon, I probably will go like 20, 20, 20 22 minutes or so. But I think we'll go the uh, potentially the extra run here. I should be fine. I should be fine. Um. I just might have a really busy day of recording tomorrow. But I mean, it, it won't be that bad, honestly, because like, if I do the Mystery Dungeon videos quick, and if it's just like two episodes, it's not that big a deal. Um, and then I go on and do my Fire Emblem videos after that, like right after the Mystery Dungeon ones. I could then take a break if I need to. Um, and do some of my stuff I gotta do during the day. Right? Because that's probably... Because Fire Emblem sometimes, like, those videos go a little bit longer for me sometimes. Um, depending on what we're doing. So if I'm recording four Fire Emblem videos, I usually count that it's going to take me probably about three hours to do. Two of Mr. Dungeon takes about an hour. So you'll get about four hours with the recording there. Um, so then if I take, like, a little break, maybe, you know, depending on the time of day, maybe wait till after dinner eat dinner, and then uh, record the four episodes of Spyro 3. I could probably do that pretty easily. And then if I fancy, like I said, maybe I could do uh, like six episodes of Spyro if I'm really feeling it. Now you might be thinking, well, if, if you have energy, why don't you just do some Digimon videos? Yeah, I could, but then I gotta switch. So I, I do Spyro 3 on my PC because I have it on Steam. And what I do is, a little, little behind the curtain, it's not really that exciting. <laughs> I have to switch my uh, HDMI cable because I, I basically what I do is I have an HDMI cable that I keep connected to my PC at all times. Uh, not not to my PC, sorry, my Elgato, and uh, and then I also have one that goes into my uh, my monitor that I'm looking right here. That's why when I play Nintendo Switch games, I'm looking over here because I'm using this computer to monitor right here for HDMI, and this one uses VGA. So, I switched the HDMI cable that goes from to, from this monitor that I'm looking at now, and I switched that one between the computer for when I play like Steam games and stuff, and also my Nintendo Switch. If you ever wonder why when I'm playing Switch games I'm looking here, when I'm playing PC games I look over here now. Now that I have my updated Elgato though, because I have uh, the HD60S, yeah, HD60S, I no longer have like a uh, delay like I did in my other Elgato. I could actually look at my OBS here and play here if I wanted to, but I'm still used to doing this. I don't think it matters too much. Plus, it looks it doesn't look like I'm looking at your guys' soul all the time like I am when I'm playing like Spyro. Doesn't I don't think it really matters that much. But uh. But yeah. Oh, another uh, rapid ash. Um, so okay, not a shiny. Uh, again, shiny uh, rapid ash. I didn't mention this in this episode, but I mentioned it many times. Instead of uh, like an orange and yellow flame, it's like a dark blue flame. If you're wondering what a shiny rapid ash looks like. 
So what I've, I've thought about a few times, and I still might one of these days, buy like a, uh, I think I think they're called Switches, like an HDMI Switch. Let's see, tag along, uh, sure, I guess, even though I'm still in the dungeon. Um, basically what you could do is you hook up like all your HDMI, like, connections into one device. And then you can just like, kind of like when you would like, switch like input on a TV from like HDMI 1, HDMI, HDMI 2, and stuff like that. I can use this to switch between different HDMI devices, so I don't have to constantly move around cables. I think I can get that to work with my Elgato. I haven't tried, but I thought about buying one and trying, so I might one of these days. They are, if you want a decent one, they are kind of pricey though, that's the only thing. And it's really like, I'd be buying like this, you know, semi, it's like $60 for the one that I want specifically. Um, and it's really just like a minor thing <laughs> that I wouldn't have to do. So I don't know if it's really worth the effort, but it's whatever. Yeah, we're at 22 minutes. Okay, we do one more run. Let's do one more. Would love it to get a shiny uh, rapid ash here today, for sure. If we don't get Shining Rapid Ash today, I guess we'll move on to, uh, I think we'll switch back and forth between an old dungeon and a new dungeon. So I guess we'll do, like, uh, we did Murky Cave last, last episode, right? No, no, we did Fantasy Straight. Um, we'll do, we'll do, uh, Marvelous Sea next episode, which is, uh, Shiny Magikarp. I'm not gonna store anything, so I don't really care. Let's just, uh... Is there anything to buy? My goodness, we're getting a lot of life season. There's a calcium in there? Oh my god, dude, that's definitely new because they did not have those. There's no way. I gotta I gotta pull money out of the account. That's this has never happened. This is well it's not never happened, but it doesn't happen very often. Let's put it that way. Alright. Alright, we will deposit a couple things then. We'll do one more run in for Rapid Ash and we'll wrap it up. Uh, I guess regardless if we get Shiny Rapid Ash or not, we'll be doing uh, Marvelous Sea next episode just because uh, the Kekalon encounter is going to happen just whenever we run into a Kekalon shop again, basically. So. We'll be Shiny Hunting either way next episode. Then after that, we're going to do Joyous Tower. And then after that, we're going to do uh, Wish Cave. Uh, and what's the last... Where's Celebi? It's not the Forbidden Forest. It's something similar to that, though. Some sort of... For Purity Forest? Purity Forest. I was thinking uh, the uh, Forest Stage and uh, Pokemon Snap, the new Pokemon Snap. What's it called? The Forbidden Forest? The Forgotten Forest? I don't remember. <laughs> All right, Tyrogue. I really want to play some Pokemon Snap. I just don't have time to do it at the moment, which is really sad. So I think what I'm gonna do is, anytime I get like, at any point if I have like free time, because at some points my uh, my grandpa is gonna be going to like uh, the city with my mom, and uh, they're gonna go like. Like shopping up in the city and stuff, and because uh, we have a couple shops there that he can't, just doesn't really have like access to, because he lives in Iowa, and uh, doesn't have like ac like access to, and uh, he's gonna go you know buy a bunch of bulk stuff that he wants, and uh, he wants to go to like the uh, the Asian market, and then they also have like this there's this really killer sushi spot. This is up in Kansas City. It's called Mr. Lee's. It's like kind of like in the like a hole in the wall type of place, but man, best sushi you'll ever eat. And I'm not exaggerating; it is delicious. So they're gonna be going over there.
let's see. So anyways, during that time period, I might uh, record some more Pokemon Snap. <laughs> Nothing really important here. I'll have the apple here pretty soon. Sixth floor. Hey, at least we got one more rapid action count. This could be it. I'm just gonna eat an apple without putting the bell on because I'm lazy and because we're almost done with the dungeon. <laughs> Alright, hydro pump. Come on. Is it gonna be shiny? Nope. That's okay. Like I said, hey, we didn't quite get one for one encounter, uh, right with the, uh, the rapid ash, but we did get a decent amount of encounters, so I can't complain too much. Uh, we'll grab the ball toy just in case we see another rapid ash. I don't like our chances, but we'll see. The Tyrogue. Sure. Alright, final floor before the prize room. No way! Oh my god, alright, hold on. <laughs> what a way to end it. Now, we may not get it still. This isn't a guarantee by any means, but my god. Whew, I was not expecting that at all. Alright, inviting orb. Alright, let me just check something real quick. Frenbo is on Rin, just double checking that. Alright, we got a few wild Pokemon with us to increase our odds here. We'll see how things go. Alright, Tyrogue, if you knock out Rapid Ash, I'm gonna be so pit. Yes! Yes! <laughs> Let's freaking go, dude! I'll be real with you guys. When we got that last, like, we battled that last Rapid Ash in floor 6. I was like, oh, it's cool, you know, we got, like, I didn't expect to see another encounter this run. Okay, cool, we got we got one on the final run. And then we and then we immediately go on to a full of the Rapid Ash. So I'm like, there's there's no way it's a Shiny, and by God it was. Wow. And Shiny Rapid Ash looks amazing. Look how cool that looks. Whew. All right, let's quickly uh, make sure we accept Rapid Ash here before we start... <laughs> getting distracted because I gotta type in the uh, Google Docs that we got and also you know uh, update the overlay there so give me one second here oh my god I can't believe we just got it there it is in all its glory baby yes wow let's freaking go well Keklon is now officially in play, boys. Any episode now, we could encounter and recruit uh, Kecleon, which is pretty exciting. All right, let me just edit my Google document real quick. All right, Rapid Ash secured. That's going to put us at 21 out of 27 on Shinies. Leaving us with just Magikarp, Dragonite, Hootoot, Espeon, Altaria, and Metagross. Uh, next episode, we're going to be going out into the uh, Marvelous Sea, like I mentioned earlier. Chasing after Shiny Magikarp. Could we get two Shinies two episodes in a row? It's possible. Look what happened with Ninetales. Three episodes in a row, we encountered Shiny Ninetales. Granted, it, it took us three episodes to get it, but that was still a, that was a crazy run. <laughs> like, just a crazy string of episodes. Then we have the one episode where we got two Shinies in one episode. That was insane. Let's grab these. Helper Orb was never in here either, I don't think. Not that I need it, but that's interesting. Now, I did have an update when I turned on my Switch, and um, I had it in Wrestling and Mr. Dungeon was a game that we were playing. 
But I thought it was like uh, hardware uh, update. I wasn't really paying attention. Was it an actual update for uh, Mr. Dungeon? I'm going to have to look that up and see. I'm curious. It would be a random... Because I've never... like We've been playing... like We're over 200 episodes in. We've been playing this game for over a year. And I do not remember seeing like proteins and stuff in that shop. I've, I, am I going crazy? I'm gonna I'm gonna take a quick look here. Pokemon Mr. Dungeon DX update. I'm just gonna put update. Excuse me. There was one in March. I mean, it's it's May now, so it's definitely not that. And that was March of last year, anyways. Huh. Maybe it's because we did do the last bit of story. Huh. I don't know. I'll, maybe I can try to find an answer for that later. Or if you have the answer, let me know in the comment section below. But guys, what an episode. We got Shiny Rapid Ash. Thank you guys so much for watching. And until next time, I'm the Maverick, my Daniels. Bidding you farewell, peace, and one love. Bang!